Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. My name is Phil, and at the time of recording this, I've lived afloat aboard my narrowboat for nearly 34 years. I share my home with my two cats, Bushka and Midge, and we spend our days travelling around the canal system and making videos. Well, it's a bit of a wet one today. Unfortunately, it's not always sunny and lovely on the canals, but I need to go for water, etc. And I expect my 14 days are probably up. So I'm starting off just south of Cropperty on the Oxford Canal. And in this video, we'll just go through the village of Cropperty, stopping off to do the water and the rubbish and the L-Sand and stuff like that. Then go through Cropperty Lock and then moor up somewhere just above the lock. We've had an awful lot of rain and flooding recently. Just look at the colour of the water in the canal and also how high it is. It's almost over onto the towpath. In fact, it was just a few days ago. Property is a very busy place. Along here, well, we first of all we've got long-term moorings, and then there'll be some visitor moorings, and then after that more long-term moorings, and then the water point. This is about where the visitor moorings begin. Um, you'll be hard pressed to find a place here in the summer when it's busy. And just up ahead there is where the long term moorings begin again.
the left are the winding hole and the boater's facilities. It looks quite wide open and spacious here, doesn't it really? But in, in the summer, this place can get absolutely gridlocked. It's very... There's too many boats wanting to use this, really. That's the problem. And there's very limited waiting room. Um, so you'll often get big queues and a kind of a logjam of boats will build up here at times. However, at this time of the year, it's pretty easy. I've got it all to myself. Because of the rain, I'm only using the bow camera for this trip, so no rear camera, and I'm afraid no cats at the end either. It was too wet, they weren't that keen on coming out. Well, I'll stop here briefly to uh, get water, empty the Elsan, get rid of the rubbish etc and then we'll resume the trip in a minute right well that's that all done off we go again Along the towpath here are the visitor moorings. There's a few spaces for a few boats to get in. Um, again, it's quite narrow here. Um, it will be very congested and you're likely to get scraped if you, if you moor up here. But plenty do. A few more visitor moorings and then Cropperty Lock over there in the distance. Property lock is nice and easy, it's not very deep.
Above the lock there's more visitor moorings, but don't be deceived by how quiet it looks. In the summer this will be completely full up, and if you turn up here round about the time of the festival, which is usually round about the 12th of August, the place will be just full. That's, that's the only way I could describe it. Full. Totally full. And you'll have to moor well outside of the village. Well, nearly the end of the trip. I'm planning to moor up just after that cruiser, just up ahead, and stay there for a little while. If you use the 3 network for your internet, there's a new 3 transmitter very close to the village, so the signal has dramatically improved in recent years. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.